your organization is growing. And with that comes a new set of IT challenges related to scalability, management overhead, and most importantly, availability. So how does your data protection tool adjust? At Veeam, we look to our Enterprise Manager, a browser-based interface that serves multiple roles. Enterprise Manager can federate multiple backup servers located at remote or branch offices, allowing you to monitor the entire infrastructure, modify jobs on each backup server, and facilitate recoveries, whether you're in your office or on the go. Enterprise Manager also serves as a self-service hub, allowing authorized users to perform file, application, or entire VM recovery without requiring access to the backup console. Let's take a further look at Enterprise Manager inside of our lab environment. We're going to start in the Configurations tab, and I want to pay special note to three sections. Number one, backup servers. This will allow us to add all of our Veeam backup and replication servers that we'd like to be managed by Enterprise Manager. Next, vCenter servers. We'll add vCenter servers to this tab for purposes of deploying our vSphere web client plugin out. And finally, roles. Now, roles allows us to specify users or groups to facilitate self-service recovery. For instance, I'd like Jamie to be a restore operator. Now, I only want Jamie to be able to restore certain files or exchange items from certain virtual machines. So we'll scope him to select VMs. We'll check guest files. And finally, we'll check exchange items. Easy as that. Moving on, we'll go to the Items tab. Now, the Items tab includes two subtabs, Exchange and SQL. For Exchange, I can simply type in an individual user and then check whether I'd like to restore mail items, calendar items, or contacts. Under the SQL tab, I'm able to specify a database which I'd like to recover and then pick the restore point I'd like to recover it out to. Under the Files tab, I'm able to either browse backups file systems or search through them. For instance, I'm going to find all files on one or many virtual machines. I also have an advanced search option if I'd like to filter that further. The VMs tab allows me to restore entire virtual machines, as well as execute failover plans for my replicas. The Jobs tab lists all jobs present on all backup servers added inside of the Enterprise Manager interface. And from here, I can start, stop, or retry jobs, as well as clone them or edit them. The Reports section is going to give me further insight into my backup server and jobs residing on that backup server. So in this case, I can see both backups of the AD job were successful. And finally, I have two historical dashboards, one for the past 24 hours as well as one for the past seven days. This will give me a general visual idea of what's happening inside of my backup infrastructure. So thanks for learning more about Veeam Enterprise Manager. And feel free to check out other videos related to Veeam Backup and Replication at veeam.com. Thanks so much for your time.